It's me. Knock knock. It's me. Knock knock. So it's me. Knock, knock. So don't go stating. It's me. Knock knock. Channel, I love you. We come in peace from the Father and Mother Earth. Now let's get on with the show. So, so don't go stating that the camera or the photographs have been tricked or enhanced in any way because they have not. This image has come through from Vayner Truth Music. <laughs> Here we have Fernando Commando's image. Raptors one and two, snap to heading two five zero to intercept. Bogey's in the lead, ten miles out, not squawking. I'm about to get ready for the place. You saw this, now you're safe. You saw this, now you're safe. Birthplace of the human race. Boy. Will you send me that link? I won't see that. This image has come through. Great violence. Look! Water is speaking from her eyes. Looking to see who is the wizard. It's a sign. If I get to heaven, I'm going to look around. And I won't see her belonging to there. You can make it with God's help. Please. 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 Wyatt, but until he died, that, as far as he's concerned, is the truth. Now, think about it. The blood of, if this is the blood of Christ he's talking about, 23 chromosomes from the mother and one Y chromosome. That's not of this earth. And who is the father of the Son of God? What have you done to me? My parents taught me to hone my senses on. Now, think about it. The blood of, if this is the blood of Christ he's talking about, 23 chromosomes from the, 23 chromosomes from the mother and one Y chromosome. Focus. That's not just of this earth. What have you done? And who is the father of the Son of God? To hold my senses on. God the Father. Perhaps you arrived there. Where is it? Go to hell. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish. If we were facing an alien threat, Google insiders will tell you as much. If you and yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Here's Uplifting. the thing: it's not our world. None That's of this is key. real. Nope. nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. We don't matter. Oh wow. That's the good news. Oh. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth, and then, uh, and then in a world we can't see. Come catch me, babe. Earth. Before the war. New York. Before I was born. I'm falling. Place of war. That is... I know you, but we've never met. I'm with you. Please. <laughs> All I can call it is the end times. The, the, there's always these preachers that say, I know the date and it's going to happen. And what they're picking up is kind of the foreshadowing of what's coming. And the media hypes it up and the world doesn't end on a certain day. And, and, and I don't think the world's going to end the way a lot of people interpret the Bible. If you actually study it deeper, and I were so it means the end of an age. It means the end of a system and a whole new system coming ask, into play. The things I wonder about, she won't. Come catch 
been half a century since the scavengers destroyed our moon. It talks about Before a thousand year reign. The planet, they came to take ours. Now, Without think the about it. Earth was the blood of, if this is the blood of Christ he's talking about, 23 chromosomes from the mother and one Y chromosome. That's not of this earth. And who is the father of the Son of God? God the Father. Now, you have to ask yourself this question. Is this true? In other words, are we hearing factual evidence? Did this man really see this? They say Ron Wyatt was an amateur archaeologist. I want to remind you that in 1947, shepherd boys threw a rock into a cave at Qumran to try to find their goats and they heard pottery crashing and they went in there and they found the Dead Sea Scrolls. One of the most profound archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. And they is, are as amateur as you get. There's always this ego problem where the professional uh, archaeologists didn't find it, you know, and they want to throw off on somebody like this. But this man we says that he found Noah's Ark. The real truth about you. Kent Hovine agrees. He said he has found Sodom and Gomorrah. He found the Red Sea crossing, Pharaoh's chariot wheels in the mud. He has found Mount Sinai. He has found the grain holders down in Egypt where Joseph uh, had all the grain stored. And now he has found the Ark of the Covenant. I'll leave it up to you. I'm going to put it before you. It's up to you to believe it or not. I'm not saying that I believe it, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm like Kent Hovind. Until you show me otherwise, I'll leave an open mind. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against well, Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you've allowed us this privilege of gathering together this holy word to Savior Jesus Christ. And it will not return unto you void, but it will accomplish that which you please. It will prosper the thing until you've sent it. So don't go stating that the camera or the photograph. For though we war in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. A stronghold is a point of operation for where Satan can keep the unbeliever captive or the believer incapacitated. In 2 Timothy chapter number 2 and verse 26, the scripture says, And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Watch this now. This is important. Who are taken captive by him at his will. Looking to see the unsaved man the has no defense. The unsaved man has no protection. The unsaved man has no fortress or no one to flee to except the Lord Jesus Christ, who he has already rejected. The apostles declare that there is a war raging in your mind. And my friend, you're going to have to fight that war. And this Bible says that it is truly a fight. 1 Timothy 1.18, the apostle said, I charge thee, I commit to thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. When you go to war, you don't play games. When you go to war, it's very serious. So the scripture tells us in Hebrews chapter number 11 and verse 34, the hall of the heroes of faith, they quench the violence of fire, they escaped the edge of the sword, and out of weakness were made strong, and they waxed valiant in fight. The scripture says to fight the good fight of faith. Paul said in 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So like it or not, we are in a struggle and in a battle. And nothing is going to change that until Christ comes to get us. If you love the Lord Jesus Christ and you're genuine this morning and your faith is real. It is unseen, but it is real as you are.
It is? Come on. Unseen. Let's go. The spirit is gone. Think about it. The blood of, if this is the blood of Christ he's talking about, 23 chromosomes from the mother and one Y chromosome that's not of this earth. All I can call it is the end times. All I can call it is the end times. It is unseen. You will receive the seal of God. Soon there will be a set of man-made laws. These man-made laws will require that you break God's Ten Commandments. Christ said of the Pharisees, For it is in vain that they who worship me teach you the doctrines of the commandments. If you keep those man-made laws and break God's Ten Commandments, you will receive the mark of the beast. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat. Well, Father, we thank you for who you are with work. Well, Father, we thank you. And yet I ask you. Well, Father, we thank you. Alien force. Well, Father, we thank you. Well, Father, we well, Father, well, Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you've allowed us. We don't matter. We don't matter. Oh wow. Oh. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? Well, Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you've allowed us this privilege to protect us. I've gathered together in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. I've had a thousand year reign of the devil chained up. In modern liberal cosmology, everybody says the Christians say the end of the world is coming. No, the Christians say there's going to be a one world government. Everybody has one world government. Christians, and that they're going to make people have a digital mark on their hand and forehead with their skin to buy and sell, and that families will be broken up, and that children will be put in charge of parents. I mean, you read Daniel or Revelations, it's all right, it's like you're reading it, and you're like, this is exactly what's happened. Oh, it's definitely the end times. Adventure between the miracle of our origin 
and the mystery on our side. Oh, he's got blue on the other side. May your will be accomplished in each of us. Why is that stretching going on? Are you ready? What about you? As we commit ourselves to the Lord, what about you? That's how you're going on. What about you? What about you? What about you? Are you ready? Is that Ben's kid? Is it Ben? Halo comes down before oh, that. Yeah. That's an X. That's a sun dog. It's a sun dog. You just speak out about the truth of what is going on. Indeed, we do have objects that are now in our solar system. Arvoda, Harrington, Ferrara, Nibiru. These objects with this huge roundable star, Nemesis, is causing havoc out there in space the weather, truth about you. causing havoc with other known well, Father, we celestial thank you. planets. Well, Father, we thank you for who you are. Well, Father, we thank you for who you are. Well, Father, we thank you. Well, Father, we thank you. Well, Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you've allowed us this privilege of gathering together in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to open your word to us. We pray, Father, you would open your word to us and so important to us to your word. And all these things, well, Father, we thank you for who you are and thank you that you allowed us this privilege of gathering together in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to open your word to us. We pray, Father, you would open your word to us and more you not take it all, my brother. Jesus is coming. All these things Jesus is coming. Jesus Holy Jesus Christ, you might grow in grace you know, you in the eyes and doing and in all this the more fruitful scriptures. Incredible abundance of our Jesus. We commit our, this evening and ourselves into your hands in the name of Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.